to South Africa, Australia, Lithuania, Poland, uh, Spain, uh, Sweden, Denmark, uh, USA. Did I miss you? Thank you for watching. Let's do this. Sweden. Did I miss Sweden? Hey everyone, it's me, Beth Hoyt. Welcome to My Damn Channel Live. Now hold everything if you're watching this on demand. Are you? Yes, okay. Then click on this annotation and watch the show in playlist format, playlist format because it's prettier and easier. Just like me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not that easy. <laughs> of course I am. Okay, now back to the show. Hi there, welcome to My Damn Channel Live and welcome to the unofficial start of summer. Remember, this summer we're experiencing right now it's unofficial. It's not officially summer until June 20th. So half an hour from now, don't go around telling all your friends that today's show was the summer's best because everyone's going to make fun of you. Today's show is going to be the unofficial summer's best because we've got My Damn Channel original video premieres and not one, not two, not three, not four, three. Three, we got three, just three special guests. That's still pretty good. Um, on the show today, we've got comedian Max Silvestri, Video Gums Gabe Delahaye, and our very own Daily Grace. We're going to throw the world's first internet barbecue. Is it? Um, or, uh, probably not the first. I'm going to keep saying that. It's my first one. And we're going to have a mega answering your comments and your tweets sesh with you, with you guys. So comment now or tweet at me or Gabe or Max or Grace with the hashtag MyDimensionalLive. And later, we're going to roast a pig. No joke. We've got a lot to get to. So let's get to it. First up, it's a premiere of The Latest Daddy Knows Best. Um, it's starring the leaves Steve, Steve Renazizi. You know him, you love him, you're glad you're not married to him. Get ready for a My Damn Channel original comedy premiere called Special Brownies. Impressive! <laughs> You're making Jack's brownies? I am indeed. I am. Oh, and wow. I made a batch for myself Look for this guy. You. Yeah, I'm loving this, by the way. I'm this is really uh, like masculinity. It. Yeah. What say after I make these brownies, I uh, get to glaze those melons? No? So gross. All right. All right, babe. I love you. At least we still got daddy's medicine, huh? What do we have here? Mmm, Colombian skull fuck. Let's put a little bit in there. Ah, it's a little conservative for my taste. How about the Paula Deen portion? Yeah, mix it up. Hey, babe. Babe, where are the brownies with the green top? Oh, I dropped it off the Swartzons with Jack. Thank you. Oh, shit! Uh, Steve, Barbara just called me. She was hysterical. She said that you sprinted into her house and you were slapping brownies out of the kids' hands. Barbara is such a narc, babe. Yes, I did go over to their house and I was slapping brownies out of kids' hands, but there's a method for my madness. I'm all ears. Oh, where do I begin? I was at the grocery store and I saw this gigantic fatso kid. And I thought to myself, God, this is awful. This child obesity is an epidemic. So this is what it was all about? Yeah. Did I, you do something to this? No, I just, I probably added too much oil or pot. Are you kidding? Good. Yeah, good. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, they're oh, gone. Good. Right? Happy? Huh? I am, let me see those hands. There, there you go, Doubting Thomas. Yeah, I guess uh, I'd like to see that other hand now. Ah, uh, yeah. No, right. Steve, I mean, no! Damn it. <sighs> what? Hey, man, someone just threw away some pot brownies. Can you believe it? Yeah, man, those are my pot brownies. Did you eat them all? No, man, there's more in here. Come on in. What? 
No, just, God, just find me one. Babe, oh. this is some good weed. I'm fucked up. Oh my God. Do you have anything to wash this down with? I got a little bit of mine oh. here. Wow, the beginning of that video made me so hungry, right? And then that end brownie just made me so not. Uh, Germany, Canada, Sweden, USA, Michigan, uh, New Jersey, the moon. I, I'm sorry. I can't, it's a lot. Netherlands, there. We're done with that. Okay, you guys, I'm hosting this internet barbecue today, um, naturally. And I just really need my outfit to sing. I just, I'm feeling uncomfortable in this shirt. I'm just gonna take a few layers off. It's, I'm just overdressed. Just bear with me for a second. Um, I'll keep I'll keep hanging out with you though. I'm just gonna um, just gonna I have to get dressed here. I'm just gonna take this one off because we're not gonna wear that. And also I'm just gonna have to get into the, this. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and then uh, also this is the one I wear under that because I don't need that. And um, I don't know what I was thinking. We're not gonna probably not gonna go swimming because there's no pool in here in the studio actually. And this one I I don't know what I was thinking. This is not that kind of party. But um, I'm not gonna wear that. Also, oh, I just was, I had this on just in case. Oh God, I um, had my prom dress. I was just thinking maybe it'd be fancy, but I think we're, I'm just gonna be trying to be casual. And this, you know, this is just cause uh, I get cold so easily. This is, I wear it on my tummy. It's just a belly warmer. I don't think I need that though today. Actually, yeah, this was good. I'll just go with this. Uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, so in a few minutes, Max Silvestri will be here. We're gonna start making some food for our party. But up next, we have another My Damn Channel original comedy premiere. I love this so much. I love this guy, you guys. Seriously, for real, honest engine. That was probably racist. I'm just trying to connect with you guys because this video is so funny. Oh man, Captain Hippo makes um, fake commercials for My Damn Channel, and here's one that's from Product Displacement. It's called Mortimer Exterminators. Oh, and I, do, you li do you like this? I think, I don't like, I'm gonna change. Watch this, I'm gonna switch. Hi, I'm Frank Mortimer, owner and operations manager of Mortimer Exterminators. Mortimer Exterminators has been servicing the Portsmouth, Ohio area for over 40 years. Here at Mortimer, there's no pest too big or too small. We guarantee you'll be completely satisfied. Hey, whoa, was that thing there the whole time? It's just a little bug, right? <laughs> we'll, you give us a call and we'll make sure your house is pest free. I feel it like it's sitting on the back of my fucking neck. Can someone else, can someone just get a paper towel and smush this thing? Get it! You got it? I'm Frank Mortimer. I can't even think anymore. I'm gonna get bit and I'm gonna die and then you guys are gonna have to live with my fucking ghost. We guarantee you'll be completely satisfied with our service. Give us a call and we'll make sure your house is pest free. Ooh, get me Frank Mortimer! No, 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 no. Hey, for the commercial. Bullshit! Okay. I can say whatever I want. Shit. Don't you touch okay. me. It's okay. You, you touch those rat fingers. Okay. You okay. Right. Yeah. Gotta make sure you have the right tools. And no, 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 Philip! Don't wait. Pick up the phone and call more Murder Exterminators today. And you'll be extreme. That's a f***ing rat! That's a real rat! Call an exterminator! I don't like their little fingers! It's coming this way! Fill up! Get it! Oh, Phil! Grab that gun off the shelf! I'm gonna shoot you, you bastard! Oh, I'm gonna kill- No! 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 Oh! Oh! I my pants! Take me to the hospital! It f***ing bit me! I'm gonna f***ing die! Tell my son! And I'm dying! I've got a couple of questions for you. How did you get so fine? How can I make you mine? Hey, 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 Mr. Man, I've been thinking in a brand new way. What are you doing Saturday night? What are you doing for the rest of my life? Chances on being lonely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I ever wanted to do was 
was make myself your one and only And spend my 24-7 with you I took my chances on being lonely Spend my 24-7 with you. That was some nice singing getting me in the mood for the IBBQ. Look, you guys, it's Max Mystery. Hi, thanks for having me, Beth. Well, thank you for coming. Happy barbecue. Happy you. barbecue. Uh, so Max is a, comedi a comedian and a writer and our resident food expert, so we thought it'd be great you know, to have you here and start making the food for our barbecue. So today we are going to make Devil ice cream eggs. sundaes. What? I, you know, Oh, you said, like, make a cold thing to I go just, with the I meat. totally, you said deviled eggs. We were on the phone, I just wasn't listening, and I thought, like, I was like, I should ask, you know, what did you say? And instead I just assumed it was, I just assumed it was that's, Sundays. That's, I mean, that's a weird Um But oh, I have my stuff, and you have yours. I just thought, um, <clears throat> well, I have the toppings, and you have this. Let's just make, like, deviled egg, uh, deviled egg Sundays. That sounds um, like a food. That's, uh, we're gonna make that. So, uh, I mean, we have hard-boiled eggs here. Sure, that's, and, the, that's uh, the first ingredient it's for the first the... thing, eggs, you know, they're mm -hmm. they're not deviled something else. Uh, but, yeah. so this bag is filled with uh, yolk, mayonnaise, and, and mustard, is, which is a fun bag. Gosh, like um, of all the, if I could choose from any of these things here, that would be the last. Uh, <laughs> There's also sweet sweet pickle relish in there, oh, too. So oh. the, the secret ingredient well, that, is You know, that makes it even less pickles. enticing, So actually. we're just gonna uh, cut up the, uh, oh, Ooh. Cut a little, I know, it's very fancy. Cut that little. So we can just pipe in. That's uh, the trick. So it is like frosting. So if you tell it's yourself. It's a lot like frosting. Oh I God, mean, most desserts disgusting. have egg in them anyway. Look at well, that. Well, let's make this look a little, you know, prettier, nicer. Let's just put an Oreo on that one. Oh, God. You got some Reese's Pieces. You got a little turd of what's I mean, in. I sweet savory is kind of all the rage right what's now. What's in there? So. Um, what's in this uh, disgusting, in this bag of delicious, uh, creamy, yet egg filling? What's in there? Uh, it's uh, egg. <laughs> I mean, the, the main ingredient is definitely uh, the egg. Uh, there's uh, the yolk, yolk from the egg. Yep, and mayonnaise and mustard and pickle relish. Mayonnaise, mustard, egg yolk. Of all, I mean, those all of those ingredients uh, individually, you know, could be good on a. Do you know? Um, do you ever watch that show, Diners, Drive-ins and Dives? Yeah, with Guy with Fieri. Guy Fieri. Um, so I watched that uh, kind of a lot, and I never, I didn't realize that of all the crazy food he eats. He won't eat eggs, and if he sees eggs really? around, he kind of flips out and is like, "I need to, I need to leave. I can't believe you have eggs here." And so I went to Google, like, "Is that a thing about him?" And I googled yeah. Guy Fieri uh, hates, and then it auto completed uh, <laughs> eggs, gays, and Jews. Oh! Uh, those are the three things In people that... like. Yeah, no, eggs first. Like, yeah. he definitely hates eggs more than gays or Jews. Oh, um, I mean, gosh. I don't know that he hates any of them for real, but people in Google. You know, but on Google they say that. You can help me with these toppings here. Oh. Uh, but, so MaxWritesForEater.com, and you you um, do all the Top Chef recaps and I do, stuff. I like so watching like and making fun of. It, are you actually I like food I can't eat that I can only watch on TV. Are you actually a foodie, or do you like just watching um, I mean, look food? at this, clearly I'm a bit of a food head. Um, Obviously. Um, yeah, yeah that's I know, kinda, I love cooking, I love you, eating. Um, what I mean, do you I think like are the summer trendy? Like eating. Best. Yeah. Um, what do you think are the summer trendy foods? Well, sweet savory, you know, like, sweet, uh, like what deviled we're doing eggs right here? with uh, maraschino cherries. We're like the best of both worlds, the two worlds being the world of eggs and the worlds of Reese's Pieces. Um, yeah. I like think, bacon, uh, is, is bacon still, like, a, I feel I always super cool. It's done. Yeah, like I think bacon is at that stage where now there's going to be like, uh, bacon Ritz crackers, you know, like it's re it's reached that, yeah. you know, it's like mainstream enough that people want bacon in there. Our Ritz, crack their Ritz crackers are done? No, no, I just mean like that's the like bottom is like flavors move oh. from like their trendy what do you think to... Is, yeah, I think, look at all these extra, these will make it pretty. Oh, cinnamon, yeah, that's great. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I think like we have all this extra amount. topping. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, wait. Pickles, I just pickles like, are gonna be big this year. Make your own pickles, stuff. put carrots with vinegar. We have all this, I think also just mainly these need it just there, like oh, that. Syrup. Yeah. They want us to wrap, but we just have a few more toppings to put And that's on. like a dipping thing, you can put the eggs in the middle. I think we did a great job. Uh, and, and the last thing is just a cherry on top. Yes. Yeah, let's make sure we get rid of that, get, get that out there. Um, I think we're ready. So we're gonna serve this up for, for everyone the, at the party later for Gabe, Gabe and Grace. I think, um, what a treat. They, you know, they wanted us to pick a special one to give to them, but they're all pretty Make uh, sure to serve these hot, even. so if you can leave them out in the sun, they should 
you know, they should almost. I love when double eggs get that coating. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for being here. We're going to have you back in that. a few minutes uh, after when with everybody at the party. We're going to be back in a second with Gabe Delahaye. But first, um, you know, when you go to a party and like you have some drinks and then like. The, well, it's like sometimes people go to okay. parties, have some drinks, and like shit talking happens a little oh, yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I want you guys to check out some shit my damn channel says. What's your favorite cuss word? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? And that's why I think this show needs an asshole living in the garbage. We're not interested. <laughs> Is that a limb? Look at the beautiful colors. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, y'all gonna get a lap dance. Well, that shit is my nails, I'll be. Hey, I'm my hair, my ass, that shit is my nails. Me and Carrie, we got a son now through sex. Got a special lunch in store for all you. Bake your cookie. Bring. You would have sex with Brad before you let me enter you as your first? Yes. Everyone knows that you blow in the bathroom, Steve. What? Just call it a day. What's her vagina look like? No, no, no! Did you just call me a bitch? Yeah, I did, pussy. Language, son. I'm a priest for Christ's sake! Oh my god! You people! Let me explain. It's my channel, damn it. We're back. Oh, hey, look, it's Gabe Delahaye. Gabe's Gabe a comedian and a writer, and he runs a totally wonderful website, Video Gum. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. How much time do we have? We can just, just keep yeah, doing exactly. this all day. This thank you so much. For, thank seriously, you thank so you much. so much. It's no. such an honor. You're welcome. Such it is an honor. To be here. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, though. Are there any eggs left, or did you get them all during that <laughs> oh, video? Oh, no, we've got some. Okay, okay, so Gabe is officially, it's it's officially barbecuing season. That officially yeah. happened. It's still unofficially summer, as we all know. Um, but along with barbecue comes lots of like easy breezy pop culture talk. You're a pop culture expert. You are. Strong. You are. Very strong language. And yeah. uh, you know, we just want some like talking points for, for when you're at the barbecue, you need to like just get, get around talking about the you know, summer's TV yeah. and movie releases. Right. Also, um, just while we're doing this, uh, we're just gonna do some face paint just because get us ready for the party. I know that seems totally normal. All of you guys, seems I'm with like you. Anyone that has OCD about this, no, not being a green circle around this, I'm aware. I'm also dealing with it. All right, so I'm just gonna do you first. If you could, let's talk about um, TV first. Okay. What's, what are you super excited about? Are you so excited for um, Wipeout? Were you gonna say Wipeout? I, you know, that was in my. I was gonna say True Blood, but let's talk about Wipeout. You want? How does say that feel? Is that cold? It feels great. It's just come in out of the heat and just mm -hmm. have someone paint his face while you mm. talk about one of the best shows on That's TV. What we do here. True Blood. Yeah. Do so you like that show? I love it. How do you feel? Uh, I hate. Well, I. I, Give it to me. Give I it to me. I hate it. I hate that show. You hate it. Yeah. You, I but mean, millions of people, like millions, it's a very popular show. I, yeah, I'm, it obviously I'm is. I'm in the wrong. It's in, well, I like, just, I mean, I really like to see Alexander Sarsgaard's. We're going, can I put on your beard? Yeah, no, I'll just cut my head off after the show. It's oh, fine. okay. So that was a yes. For, oh, no. It's fine. You just, just keep going. Just We're just going to ignore sure it. I'm just going to buy you a new shirt. I just want to make sure gonna that get, we gonna get this right. We're going to get my channel to buy you a new shirt. I just want to make sure that we get this right. Um. So anyway, so we're talking about Alexander Skarsgård taking his shirt off, and yeah. that's what—that's basically what True Blood's about. Is that right? I think that's mostly right. He plays one of the so oldest, oldest people without mm -hmm. a without a shirt. Just getting real close. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and then oldest people without a shirt. Yeah, he's very old oh, and very yeah. shirtless. Those are the two main things you need to know here. about that show. I have Keep, two more time. very take crucial. I have a goal. What are you painting? I have on a goal. My face? We're getting there. Okay. Um, so. This is really fun for you. Are you glad you came here? Mm -hmm. So tell us about Wipeout. Let's talk about what you want to talk about. Let's just Wipeout. Wipeout is, is about so uh, these shape-shifting <laughs> shape <-shifting laughs> monsters As we uh, all know. who have to complete an obstacle okay, last, course. Last, last thing. thing. I don't have red. I'm going to pretend like this is red. This is it. OK. I'm actually excited. There is there is good TV that's coming out. Which is what? Like, like Louie's coming out, Breaking oh, yeah. Bad is coming back. Oh my gosh! It's gonna be, those are good things. And then you watch Wipeout, and then you watch True Blood, I guess. <sighs> I don't even know how to deal with, with Breaking Bad coming out. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so okay. also, um, you can do my face now. Yeah, just do yeah, it on me. Put it all turn. over my it's shirt. It's my turn. Um, and uh, let's talk about summer movies. What do you think everyone's gonna be talking about this summer? Well, like it's gonna be hard. For better or for worse. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for any movie to really get through all the chatter about John Carter from Mars. That's all that anyone right. really wants to talk about. The I one mean, that came out already. Yeah, it's with just this Friday Night it's Lights just guy. doing gangbusters. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just doing gangbusters. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves it. Did anyone it's turning... ever see that? You can't wash this off until Halloween, by the way. Okay. You oh, have cause... to keep this on. Okay. I, that's in my contract for doing the show. Oh, okay. Yours is, but you can you can take yours off as soon as the movie comes out that is in reference to, which is... Um, Avatar? Your, no, you're Abe Lincoln, a vampire. Oh, sure. Vampire. That's what sure. you are. You see the hat. I couldn't paint on the hat. Yeah, I but, understand. Um, Move, so, the, summer the, movies. Okay, yeah. uh, Abe Lincoln. Madagascar 3. Oh, okay. Europe's Most Wanted. A lot of people are going to be talking about that at the mm-hmm. barbecues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is feel, does feel this good not, and cold like on my helps, face. I feel like it helps your concentration. Like, it's easy to talk about some of the most popular topics of the day. Well, this is why it's good because there you will be great, distractions at great. the summer barbecues, which is, you know, being intoxicated or whatever. So this is, we're proposing challenges now. They suggested that I that I paint you to look like a cat, but I don't know what cats look like, clearly, so we're really? just gonna do the best we can. Hmm. Are we there? Yep, cat. We've got all of our talking points. What's, oh, that is good. I think that's flattering. Yeah. I, great. How do you yeah, feel? You look great. So do you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for uh, having me, by the way. Oh, I, you're not going anywhere. But also, what's like the one thing you can say if you're at a party, and, and everyone knows about pop culture, and you don't know anything? Like, what's one thing you can just throw out there? You, know? you can just talk about Jay- Dame Jeremy Renner as the new Jason Bourne. Everyone's so excited about it. Matt Damon is out. I'm gonna practice this. He's out. Dame Dame Jason Dame Jeremy Renner. Dame Jason Bourne <laughs> as Jeremy Renner. Dame Jason Bourne in as Madagascar Renner. three. In Madagascar three. Europe's most wanted. Europe's most wanted. <laughs> Total Summer wipeout. barbecue, and everyone will be like, "This is the funnest barbecue." We are yeah, just so having you just like drop that on a conversation, conversation, leave, and then they're yeah, they're off. You're smart, and this conversation's good, and we're and we look great, and we're eating delicious <laughs> eggs, and we're just having such a good barbecue. You're right. Okay. And I can't wait for it to be summer. You guys don't worry. I'm gonna buy him a new shirt. But thank you, and we're we have we're all ready for a small talk for, on this inner barbecue, internet barbecue, which is happening, and the pig roast is ha- coming up. Thank you, Gabe. We're gonna be back Thanks. in a couple of minutes. View for the party. Up next, our own daily Grace will be here to help with the libations. But before that. We've got Madame Channel vlogger Shannon Coffee. Her vlog is called Coffee Chat. It's awesome. And we've got a recent episode called Shannon Goes Outside. Check it out. Coffee Chat! I'm Shannon Coffee. This is Coffee Chat. We're chatting. Uh oh. I forgot to bring coffee. I think it's time that I make myself a latte. I'm a girl who's making coffee. I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I'm gonna make myself an iced latte. That's what's gonna happen. Someone's trying to steal the show. So I'm really excited because it's getting a lot warmer around here. See you later, winter, because it's time for spring, which I like to call baby summer. And I think it's time for me to get outside and not be stuck in my apartment anymore because my apartment's not a beach. I wish it was a beach. We could have a beach party 24 7. I'm a scab man. I'm gonna go outside. This is what I look like outside. Standing next to a mailbox. Say something. This is what I look like outside next to a tree. This is what I look like crossing the street. Chat. I'm the scat man. Hey, we're back. Yeah. Yes, we're back. Guess who's back? Eminem. Vans, you got it? You hate me. Anyway, whatever. It's Daily Grace. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Yay. Thanks for having me, Vans. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming. I like the tablescape. I know. We're keeping it um, 
the wood, the wood protected. So the only thing you needed a barbecue is just slices of watermelon. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All um, right. We have got this. This is calling out our name here. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make uh, some special summer drinks that you can bring to any barbecue. And the best or the most important thing about making drinks for a barbecue is that you want a good quantity. Yeah. It's, you know, quantity, not quality, really, when it comes to summer barbecues. You don't want to be the girl that brings liquor and then it runs out and you have to go to a liquor store and pick up more. Oh Everyone will hate you. Yeah. It's really bad. So today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, a lot of drink at one time. Right. So okay? no one knows and no one sees you refilling. No. The yeah. first thing we need is ice That's for good. our pitcher. Whoa, muscles. We got some up. ice there. It okay. Is. Next, what you want to do, it's uh, it's a very uh, strategic system for measuring. Very strategic really wanna, system. You want to really make sure that you measure out your pores. Okay. It's true. I was, I was bartender. Yeah. So you take one shot glass. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah. You just pour that right. You just take it and then you just dump mm -hmm. the bottle. <laughs> That's for you. Yep. That's Whoa, just going there in there she like blows. that. The Can you actually right help me out? Get yeah. the other one. We've got another we bottle. Go. So we're just going to dump that. Dump that right in there. Yeah. You, so the way you, you measure USA. it. USA. 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 But we're not luscious here, clearly. Right. Also Mexico. Mexico. Um, so we're going to add some mixer yeah. into this guy. We have some Jose Cuerva margarita mix. Yeah. Oh, because this this also has, it's also three-fourths tequila, too. Yeah. We should be sponsored by Jose Cuervo. Hashtag. Someone hashtag that. Hashtag send it to someone us. Get, do that for us. Also, right. this is an unbreakable bottle, so this is safe for a bar barbecue for party. Things like that. You can be real dramatic. Yeah. Flair. Bartending is all about flair, if uh -huh. you don't know. Um, then you... She's been a bartender before, clearly. Yep. Then you really want to get in there and mix it all up. Just do it with your hands. Otherwise, we got... There's a lot of weird things floating in this, actually. What is that? I don't know. That's, um... Sometimes you get presents. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's karma. Yeah. Okay, I then like we could just use this. Here. You want some limes. Oh, sure. Right? Because limes are really what makes it really fresh. Makes the drink fresh. There we go. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Yep. And we're just about done. So that means you're gonna take a straw in your. Did you have a straw? I have oh, one. it fell on the ground. It's okay. Other thing about barbecues There's is like when it falls on the ground, you just pick it up and put it in your mouth. That's how you do it. Yeah. Take your glass, throw that away, and put your straw in. Because it's plastic too. And get down to business. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is really. It oh, really you know, we don't. We need salt. We need salt oh, for the rim. Oh, I'm an idiot. Need, a margarita needs to have salt on the rim. A margarita needs salt. So we're going to take our lime. Can you take this lime back? I can. And we're just going to juice our rim yep. to make it ready for the salt so then to the stick. Salt sticks. Yeah, guys, duh. Mega duh. Then you take your salt. Oh, God. Okay. And you put it right around the rim. My superstitious Next. self is cringy. Grace, you have to throw some salt over your. Oh my goodness, this is so much bad luck is happening oh, for no. you right now. You need to just take some of this and put it over your, over your shoulder. Okay. Slam. It did it. Am I safe if she did that? If I watched her put this, spill all this salt? Put I'm it gonna, over your shoulder. But then what if it's bad luck because I reversed it? Let's Everyone just drink. that has OCD that's watching this show has tuned out. <laughs> 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 Sorry, y'all. But so there then, you have it a bucket of booze. This looks great. Yeah, get We're in there. We're all going to share this. Yep. That's okay. Mmm. It's like, how, how, you know, we might just tackle this. It looks like one big drink, but basically, yeah, I'm from it's New Jersey. Bottles. This is a New Jersey delicacy. You find a tub and this you This is going to happen to me later on is that I'm going to forget that I have the, I'm going to drink and I'm going to be, you guys are going to see me in New York City. I'm going to have this on my face. Best eye barbecue ever. All right. <laughs> um, you guys, we're two minutes away from the pig roast and the internet barbecue. Can you handle it? Are you ready? You have 120 seconds to get ready. To help you get ready, it's the John Freeman Internet Program with another 127 hours. That's what it's called. It's just, it's two minutes. We'll be right back. It's the John Freeman Internet Program on your worldwide bed. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your World Wide Web.
this record was just set on your website, and we're going to attempt to break it. Um, can you explain the record while I get ready? Absolutely. We just got an amazing submission to Record Setter this week for the most table tennis balls fired out of one's mouth in 30 seconds. A boy named Gray Jones did a spectacular job and has set the mark at 33. Okay. So we're going to need to see 34 for this one to be a world I'm record. Really, I'm really nervous for this. It's I mean, a, the there's a lot high. riding the on it. High. It's also, I'm just, I'm already embarrassed. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win. I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to win this. Stupid thing. We'll see. We Not need to see. Thing. We need to see 34 and 30 seconds. I know. I know. You let me know when you're ready, and I okay, will count you down. Okay, one ball at a time. Popping them out. Popping them out. You have lots. I think we're good. That was not bad. That was not good luck. I'm not using that one again. Okay, let's. I'm ready. Okay. Wait, no, I'm not. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, here we go, Beth. Mm -hmm. On your marks, get set, go. Oh my gosh! That was 50! <laughs> that was crazy! We got 50! Oh my goodness! Extraordinarily I'm so well done! Record. Another world record! I can't believe it! I feel so good! That's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life! That was so awesome! You guys, we did it! Also, pa Pasha, Pasha 5? Pasha 5! We're live! She tweeted that she didn't think we were live. How dare she? Alright. Or he. You guys, we're all here. We're here for the barbecue. <laughs> and we're gonna start off with the pig roast. Okay, so um, first up, I'm gonna use our pig. Um, I'm gonna be the first one to kick it off. Um, pig, you're so fat. You're so fat. I uh, Charlotte's web red. Uh, go on a diet. Yeah. Gabe. Yeah. Yeah. Gabe. Uh, that pig is so dumb. I heard it has a drinking problem and it's bad at its job. <laughs> uh, Oh Max. Uh, look how ugly uh, uh, that pig is. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't fuck that pig with its own dick. <laughs> oh, oh, Max! Yeah, Grace. And that pig is so delicious. I want seconds. Boom! Pig roasted. Mm. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Are we okay? Let's drink. Yeah. Yay! Cheers, I made guys. this for you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, they put the crazies on the same side over here. Look at okay. Anyway, <laughs> well, well, we're gonna drink and answer your tweets and your and your comments and stuff. So what happens is whoever the question is addressed to. I'm hot. It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweating through your shirt. Mm. I need. I Sometimes their fingernails feel too tight. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get them off. Yeah. I just want them to come off. It's like you're wearing little gloves on the end of each other. <laughs> the trick. No, this does the yeah. trick. We're okay. Yeah. Listen, we want to get to your tweets and comments. If, there's, if it's addressed at you, then you answer it. And then you take a drink. And if it's at all, so we all drink. As long we as get, we get it. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see. First, we have a tweet. And it is from Peter Pan, 808. Uh, this is a Grace. Dear Grace, how can you go to a BBQ and be a vegetarian or whatever you are? Um, it's very simple. You just have to put up a thick skin and endure lots of eye rolls because uh, it's hard to be vegetarian at barbecues. Do you bring your own uh, veggie materials? No, I don't. Just, uh, <laughs> it makes just, it even worse. Just eat buns with ketchup? I just eat buns. Just at buns. barbecues, thick skins are called cracklins. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! Boom! Drink, Grace. Ah. <laughs> Tumblr question is from Smokey Banjo. Let's ask them about the flavor. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> Good Very question. Loud wow. question. This is an age-old question. I mean, seriously, um, I mean, I have. What do you guys think? Oh. I think? They know how I feel about mint. How about it? I don't uh, talk about it in public. In eggs or in drinks? Oh, probably, probably. Uh, it's probably topical. It's probably about the eggs. You guys are all. Does that dying mean when you're to talking about toppings, topical? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> on today's show. Mm -hmm. Fresh mint. Great. So clap we, it. We clap totally, it before you put it on things. We address that. We totally address that. <laughs> That's what you're that. supposed to do. Yeah. It releases the flavor. You clap mint. Is that true? Yeah. You're the foodie expert. What? Yeah. Drink, clap. everybody. Uh, all right. Tumblr question. Oh. This is from. <laughs> Got a good bite of salt that yeah. time. Oh, yeah, it's good. Dear IMR, uh, how do you know if you've used too much lighter fluid on the grill? No such thing. Quick tip you lose your eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, no such thing. Right? No. 
But now he's got two sets of them, so yeah. he can lose a pair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your emergency <laughs> phase. <laughs> That's really nice. The also, big problem with emergency phases is if they're not close by, you forget to use them, but yours is right. On your yeah, man face. Yeah. And you're not supposed to put on your own emergency face. You always have someone else. <laughs> right, right. Is your is your emergency face, by the way, burning your skin a little bit? Like a lot of it. Okay. Like yeah. a lot of it. Some that, okay. It's Sounds fine. great. Feel, feeling good. Uh, Tumblr question. Uh, Phil Burmack, embarrassing BBQ stories? Well, I got my period the first time at a barbecue. Oh my yeah, God. so embarrassing. And the hamburger was a hamburger. And you were really wearing... liked. And you were, <laughs> yeah. you were wearing a white hamburger. And hamburger. White yeah, pants. Yeah. They saw me. Gosh, that's a that's a top that tops it. That's crazy. Speaking of yeah. toppings, <laughs> ding 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 toppings. Everyone drink. Mm. Oh, it's just. I, feel I like think I, I hit a salt vein. So I gotta move my straw <laughs> somewhere. Why is sodium yes. intake? It's a surprise every time. Every time. It's really like a, a comment. We have a comment from YouTube now. Uh, Bruce here? Sam Obel. Boo! New Jason Bourne. I can't talk. There's so much salt. Like, <laughs> is there demand for another Jason Bourne movie? Like, is there? Yes. Like, yes. The answer is yes. What are you talking? Boo you. Boo, what are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> YouTube, ban their account. Ban it. <laughs> They're like gone. Take spanned. down their bitch. Shut it down. They're yep. gone. Yeah. Throw their computer in the bathtub. Yeah. Uh, we all have to drink, but it's like punishing oh. us, but we just go for it. Mm -hmm. You have to either drink or eat a whole egg, so oh, yep. it's oh, on you. And it's the liquor. <laughs> Tumblr question. It's just a perfect balance. Saying, King, what's a good way of dealing with the heat? Uh, you know what? Is a good way. A <laughs> zone <laughs> defense we all from a basketball. <laughs> Heads out Dwayne there. Dwayne Wade! Good. <laughs> yeah. Touchdown. Yeah. That was a good um, Zing. <laughs> we have another Twitter qu question, comment. It's from 3177 at H. Start dancing with everybody. Everyone. Oh, we got music! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys, before we run out of time, that, was that a, that was a, yeah, we did that. Check. Yeah, we did that. Check. Check, drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is our delicious barbecue. Before we run out of time, <sighs> this has been a crazy <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> crazy I BBQ. It's a salt, it's a salt shot. Listen, before we run out of time, I want you guys watching, um, I want those of you watching this who are not subscribers to Madam Channel's YouTube channel. I want, first of all, if you're not a subscriber, what's going on? How did things get so messed up? Yeah. Don't you know if you subscribe on YouTube, oh. you'll never miss a show? Can you believe? Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Can you believe that people don't subscribe to this? How dare they? Anyway, I'm not going to bribe you or anything to subscribe, but I will say this. I will personally come to each new subscriber's home <laughs> and give them a non-sexual massage. I care about you having relaxed and balanced musculature, and I also care about you subscribing to our wonderful show, so do that. Yay, okay. This barbecue is, is gonna continue, but the internet portion has to end because it's all the time we have. My skin is burning off. Probably Gat, Gabe's too, so thanks so much to guests, Max and Gabe and Grace. And thank you, you, thank you. Do you guys you wanna talk about Sometimes. what you have coming up? Grace is hosting the show tomorrow. I'll be here What's tomorrow. gonna happen then? I'll be here tomorrow at 4 p.m. with uh, Michelle Vargas, and we'll be giving you advice on the any Thing you didn't want advice on. Ooh, good. Great. Yeah. What's up for you, Max? Uh, if you live in New York, I host a show called Big Terrific every Wednesday in Brooklyn, and next week's our four year anniversary, <gasps> June 6th, Yay. with Gabe Lehman. It's going to be very fun. Um, Chris and Shaw will be there. Yeah. Awesome. Gabe. Uh, you had a great show last night, by the way. Thank you so much. A one year uh, anniversary fish show, Mr. Coconuts. Sorry, one I'll One year you anniversary talk. of Mr. Coconuts. <laughs> uh, we have another show coming up June 19th that'll be very fun. At Union Hall and Park Slope. No, it's good. Just drink more of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to drink more and then it gets good. Right, right. Yeah. You, yeah. you forget that. It's like that song, the first drink is the toughest. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know when you look at the packet of uh, something and you look at the sodium and you're like, mmm. Yeah. 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 No, Not this. Yeah. Never this like, like, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, right. there's no point in us ever What's doing the that. the info on this, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys, cool. Um, I'll be back Friday with the weekly wrap up, and next week the unofficial summer continues with more fun stuff. Okay, so no more stalling. Uh, now it's time to, to break from the delicious cocktail and get into our delicious food. So everyone, pick an egg and um, dip it in the middle because the dip we have the dipping sauce in the middle. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The dipping sauce pairs so really well with the egg. Drip. But make sure you Cheers. dip that in there. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Yeah. Yeah.